Hi, this is Maxim and today I'm gonna show you how to create a perfect loop out of music using scientific approach. So for this example, I'm gonna be using Adobe Audition and a technique that is called correlation. Unfortunately, Adobe Audition doesn't have uh, that correlation built in, but we're gonna use a, a small hack to mimic that purpose. And to do so, I'm gonna go to uh, special and use the convolution, which is essentially the same thing as a correlation, but reversed. Okay, so here we have the file and the pattern I want to make loop is something similar to this. Now, I could play using the in and out marker, but what I want to do is uh, to use a scientific approach to match perfectly the timing. Uh, to do so, it's best to use the time format as sample right here, because this is way more precise for the selection. And uh, like I said before, I need uh, to do the reverse of the convolution in order to, to view my peaks. So what I'm gonna do is select something here, which is a random part of the looping, uh, but I don't need to be precise in my selection. I just want to, uh, to have a, a sample. And I'm gonna copy and paste to a new file. In that file, I'm gonna reverse. So here I have my reverse sample. And right here, I'm gonna duplicate. So once again, copy, copy to new, uh, or paste to new this time. And um, I'll go back to this reverse sample and I'll go to uh, spatial convolution and I want to clear any impulse that was loaded before. And I'm gonna add selection, which is gonna add the, the reverse selection I had in my untitled file uh, number one. There we go. And I can just click close for now. I go to this file, which is the same as the original. And I'm gonna do um, convolution and apply. Take some time. When it's done, do normalize. And what do we have here? You see some spike every time the pattern was matched. So uh, it may take a few attempts to, to get it right. Um, but uh, this is typically one beat and it looks to be four beat per measure. So what I'm gonna select is from one, th that biggest peak here to the next one here. I may need to repeat a few times if I'm wrong. So from here to here, and here I have my exact length. So that's the number we want to uh, to use and if we go back here gonna play a little bit all right and a good practice is uh, to start from a sample that is quite small to do so I like to to be close from the beginning and choose uh, zero crossing and like this, so now I'm really at zero, but I can do it from anywhere if I want. And what I'm gonna do is just paste here the, the length that we computed before. And when I click enter, boom, I have the perfect timing. Now listen. And 
that's it. You don't even need to uh, use your ear to do that. It's just some mathematic tricks. I hope you enjoyed that uh, tutorial by Maxim and hope to see you later.